All right, everyone, what's up? Phil here. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for Sunday, November 21st, 2021. Luckily today, a lot less dramatic of a day than yesterday. On the pre-stream today, I laid down the law in regards to this kind of nonsensical stuff that happened on last night's Halo Infinite stream. People seem to get the message. There was very little trolling and nonsense today, thank God. Um, what do we do today? Well, Guardians of the Galaxy was the first stream, and we got way far into the game Essentially, what people are telling me is another stream, I'm done with it, although there is about three to four hours left, and my streams usually have about three hours of gameplay, so I guess we'll really see what happens next time around. Um, but we got really far. The game, I'm not kidding you, I cried again. <laughs> again, second time in the playthrough. The game is so well written, the plot is so damn good. I really love Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm The more I play it, I love it, and I can't wait to see how it all ends. Um, so I hope you'll join me for that on Tuesday for the probable conclusion on the main stream But if you haven't seen the videos yet, it's really good I hope you get caught up here on DSP gaming now if you're watching those videos Please consider contributing in another way than ad revenue because all the ad revenue is being taken on those videos because of the licensed music in them Okay Tonight the late stream King of Fighters 15 beta it was pretty interesting. Um, it looks like it's a classic King of Fighters with a few modernized elements that I don't really understand. I didn't even do training mode. I just jumped right into online play, and I used the team, I guess, Sacred something. It's it's Kyo, Yori, and Shizuru. I played with them for an hour, and then I switched over to the Orochi team, which is Chris, Shermi, and Yashiro for the second hour. Um, and admittedly, didn't learn too much, but what I learned, I was getting combos. I was figuring stuff out uh, along the way, which was fun. And surprisingly enough, I won a ton of matches. I won way more. I think I lost a total of like four matches all night. Seriously. I won a ton. So if you want to see that, it should be live or going live here on DSP Gaming momentarily. Um, it's good stuff. It's it basically the reason I like King of Fighters is I grew up playing it just like Street Fighter in arcades. I played King of Fighters 94 through 97 in arcades, and then I played 98 through like 2000, 2001 on PC because it wasn't available on consoles at the time to play, so I had to get it like emulated, but I played them all back then. And then in the 2000s, I basically didn't play them for the longest time. I did play King of Fighters 14, if you remember, but no one played it. I bought the game and it died within like, um like two weeks no one was playing it online anymore so i had to drop it even though i was enjoying it so now it's cool it's full full 3d graphics i'm having a good time with it i did really well however i'll be honest with you guys attendance was okay it was about on par with what we would do for a normal street fighter stream but the support was incredibly bad i'm just gonna I'm just not gonna lie the support wasn't there like the tips i think i made like 30 dollars or 35 dollars in tips on a normal street fighter stream i do two or three times as much okay so people say to me phil why do you play street fighter every week because people like to watch me play Street Fighter because that's what I grew up with, you see? I try something different. People say, oh, why don't you play Tekken? Why don't you play this? Why don't you play that? Well, I played something different. And what happened? <laughs> you know? Um, again, I like playing varieties of games. I'm very strongly considering playing King of Fighters in February. But being honest, I'm nervous now that if I play this game in February, people aren't going to come out and support it. That sucks. Why are people only supporting the Street Fighter streams? I don't know. I'm happy with that. I love Street Fighter. Don't get me wrong. I hope you continue to support them. I just don't understand what was the difference. People have been screaming, play a different fighting game. Hey, are you going to play this beta? It'll be interesting. So I play it, and then what happens, right? If you didn't have opportunity to attend the live stream, watch the videos on YouTube. If you like the gameplay, let me know. Leave a like on the video. You can leave comments on those videos. Yes, you can comment on videos now. I'm curious to hear your feedback on what you thought about the King of Fighters gameplay and if you'd be willing to support a playthrough and or ongoing multiplayer of this game when it comes out in February. I need feedback. I'm interested in it, but I'm not going to buy and play a game that no one is interested in, okay? I'm just being honest, okay? So let's see what happens. Leave me your feedback, and let's go from there. Now, outside of that, there's really not much else to say about today, except we did have new hats available in the mix. For if we hit $100 tip skull on a stream, we had the Punisher beat... Punisher Beanie, and the Santa Hat, available for the first time ever. We did hit the tips goal on the Guardian stream, the $100 tips goal, I should say, not the $150 vest goal. And I wore the Punisher Hat for the first time. People liked it. It was cool. But like you, like I said, King of Fighters stream was you know nearly dead for support. So didn't get to see anything like that. Tomorrow, same thing. We'll have these in the running uh, because I'm wearing net phones. Now I have the ability to wear whatever I want, which is really cool. I like that I have that flexibility and that ability. All right? So tomorrow... It's Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the first stream. The infamous flight school plus the Torino Desert missions that are some of the zaniest, craziest missions in the game. 
I certainly hope you'll join me and support that stream. Tomorrow night is a continuation of Lost Judgment. I know we haven't played it in like a week because there's been so much else going on. Finally getting to play that tomorrow night. And then Tuesday, my final consecutive streaming day of the week, it's going to be the probable conclusion of Guardians of the Galaxy and some Forza Horizon 5 on the late stream. I'm off from streaming on Wednesday, Thursday, Thanksgiving, only one stream, and it will be San Andreas, likely the end game. I'm thinking we'll probably end up going to like the strip and doing the strip missions and getting near the end of the game. Um, no second stream on Thanksgiving. I'll be celebrating with my family. But then on Friday, Black Friday, it's Halo Infinite as the major stream. Although there will be a break in there for me to take my wife to work. Uh, it's going to be fun to finally be able to sit down and play it for another serious session. And then Friday night, Street Fighter. Then the balance of the, the weekend will be finishing San Andreas, finishing Guardians if I haven't, starting up Metroid Dread, deciding if we want me to jump right into a GTA after San Andreas, which it seems like most people want, but I'm not sure which one you guys want me to play next. Um, and basically balancing at night things such as uh, Lost Judgment, Forza Horizon 5, and Halo Infinite. And that's kind of the streaming week right now, okay? Hope that sounds all good to you. And by the way, I can't wait for the Christmas festivities coming this Friday when I have all the new animations and everything playing on the stream. It should be superb. Thank you guys for a great streaming day. I'll see you all in the morning, all right? Peace out.